Oh my goodness. The life of a YouTuber, when you leak your email and someone sends you these literally 15 minutes of nonstop emojis. Sarajevo war lover. Well, congrats to you. Anyways, uh, guys, let's take a look at the latest and greatest today with iOS 10.3 beta 6. So I wanted to share some of the new changes in there with you. There are a few, not many. I didn't make a video on beta 5 because there's just nothing to talk about. And I wanted to mention the iPad event and talk a little bit about that. So very short and quick update for you. Now this version specifically of iOS 10 doesn't really have any huge features, but it does fix one very important bug. And that's a link that when you would click would just nonstop keep repeating calling 911. This would cripple uh, the 911 call centers. It would be very, very bad. And Apple did patch that. So it actually asks you if you click on a link and it has the code inside to dial a phone number to confirm that you want to do that. So a kid was actually arrested over this kind of crazy. Beta 6 does fix that. And here's what's next. So this isn't specific to beta 6, but when you go ahead and power your device off, you'll notice there is almost never that springy little loading icon, you know, the usual one when turning your device off. I was 10.3 just boots down much faster so it doesn't even need that thing anymore but that's an interesting change that was sent to me by this user here I don't really know how to pronounce them. Also, there is a really cool new diagnostics mode that you can activate. It's like a secret hidden little feature by holding on the iPhone 7, the volume down and up buttons while going ahead and plugging your device into a power source. On any other device, it's just volume up and do the same thing. So volume down, up and plug it in and continue to hold it. It doesn't pop up right away. So in a moment here, basically this is what Apple is gonna be using in store to diagnose uh, the problems on your device. Keep holding it even after the logo comes up. Again, on any other device but the iPhone 7, it's just a volume up. Because of the home button on this guy, you need to hold the lower one too. But keep holding those and there you go. You've got diagnostics here. So you can start them and because I'm not hooked up to any Apple network, it's not actually gonna get any further. So I'm just gonna go ahead and exit that. But it will reboot your device after you leave it. Kind of a cool little uh, secret first mentioned by this guy. And a couple of respring bugs. So Apple did patch a lot in the earlier versions of iOS 10.3, like in the notification center that I did show you, but there are a couple more that were sent to me by a fan named Valentino. So thanks, man. Anyways, being on the first page of the notification center, go ahead and just put your finger anywhere on the display and uh, click on the dictation. It wasn't showing there. All right, so right here, and just go ahead and slide over. Your device will respring right away. The other one, basically be on the widgets page and go ahead and slide over to the other page while holding on dictation right away or clicking it. So just like this, and then go into any other app. And now when you go back in here and click cancel, your device resprings. Super neat. And the last thing I wanted to mention is the iPad event. We talked a little bit about this. We might be seeing a red iPhone 7 there too, the product red version and the new iPad Pros. So new reports are saying that it will be happening. I mean, it's already well into March. We haven't heard anything about it, but that's not so unusual because Apple usually announces these events about 11 to 12 days on average before they happen. So we don't usually know far in advance like WWDC uh, this time around, but it should be happening very soon. Now, 9to5Mac is reporting an April 4th date for this event. A bunch of retailers are reporting low stock in current iPads for no apparent reason other than the fact that they're getting refreshed here soon. So Apple wants to clear out that stock, but we will be seeing new iPads here very, very soon. Now, the only negative is that the 10.5 inch exclusive model with the very, very slim bezels might be delayed. So it might not even be announced at this event, but released later. But the one thing you should take away from this is that this may not even have an event. Apple could just even put these iPads up online as it's not unusual. That's how they release the iPod sixth generation. So that would be super neat. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Just wanted to update you on what's going on right now with the Apple world. 10.3, uh, I thought it was gonna get released today or at least the GM, but we got another beta. So I'll keep you updated on any more Apple news. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.